Brothers, this is Dr. Phil Chavez of the Men's Academy. When considering a man's role as protector, I think it's important to be clear that by direct design of God, a man is called to be a protector first to those who are most vulnerable. This, of course, includes women and children, and then after to all those in need in his community and his country. Now, given fallen nature, a man must be alert at all times to violations of human rights and of human dignity. A man must serve in this primal capacity as well as others. As the Apostle Paul says, let each of you look to not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Now, brothers, every father wants to know that when his daughter is thrust into, into the world, that men will come to her protection and defense wherever necessary and wherever she is. Brothers, it bears worth repeating, where men lack courage and fail to rise up as protectors, women are violated and children are abused. Every year, over 200,000 women and children find themselves in some kind of forced prostitution in the United States alone. Now, that number has risen significantly given the recent open borders. And brothers, over 1 million babies are surgically aborted each year, aside from many times that chemically. Beyond being a tragedy, that is a fruit of an emasculated society, a society where men are hesitant or afraid. I'm convinced the reason the fight against abortion and other human crimes continues is because men are not assuming their natural role in taking a stand. It's a man's proximate role, brothers, to protect life. And we have let the women fight this battle for us. We've laid down our arms here. So how can we expect God to bless us, our families, our communities? We've all heard some variation of that quote attributed to Edmund Burke. All that is necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Yes, brothers, I understand this goes beyond the natural realm. As St. Paul says, for we're not contending against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against the powers, against the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. That's right, even from the very beginning, creation has been wrought with battle, waged first by rebellious angels whose legacy still remains with us. The promised people engaged in one skirmish after another to stake their claim to a new land. The new covenant also demands a warrior's valor to uphold the teachings and the person of Jesus Christ, serving others at all cost. And his challenge, greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. So brothers, where are you gonna make your stand? It's your move. Thank you for your support of the Men's Academy. Remember to check out our weekly 40-minute podcast released every Thursday on the Men's Academy YouTube channel.